Now in properties, you can see the properties for that particular company. You can do that in the desktop. What's different is you can now show the properties for an organization or a subsidiary. So if I have a company that has multiple locations and I wanna see all the properties that they own or they're an agent for, or they're a property manager for, I can switch from just this record to the subsidiary or the organization, but it goes further than that. It's even better. So I do the same way, just pick what you wanna see and it shows you that these are the ones that this particular 1001 Bishop Street owns. I can also say, if there's a contact that works for this company and they're the owner of the property or the agent or the tenant, I wanna see those properties as well. That's really, that's really a big deal. I've noticed a lot of people when they, when they add an owner, they add the contact because that's who they talk to, but that's not really the owner. That's somebody who works for the company and their acquisitions or dispositions, or there's something, to, some reason why they talk to them, but the company owns the property, not that person. And when that person leaves, the company still owns the property. So if you do that, how do you go to the company and see every property they own when it's all under contacts? We never could. Now you can. Go to the company record for the contact, change it to organization so you see every single property that that particular organization owns and click the contact button or checkbox. And that will now show you every single building that that company owns, regardless of if the company is listed as the owner, as long as the contact that works for them is listed, it will show you too. That got me so excited that I decided to do the same thing for spaces. So you can also now go to spaces and do the exact same thing. How huge is that for tenant rep guys? This is like a nightmare because you, well, I know in the case of the subway chains, they're usually it's usually a mom and pop, you know, family owned or family run thing. And so the families who you put in there is the person, but <clears throat> it's under the organization subway. Even though that family has their own company name, that's fine. They have their address, their company name, but they're under the the uh, organization subway or whatever it is. And now I have a way to pull up everything that is subway or or anything else you can think of. Anybody who works with large companies and has different t different spaces out there will absolutely go nuts over this feature. And it's in, all of this is in production. I'm not showing you anything like I usually do that's coming. This is all live right now. You can get off the phone and go um, and go play with it right now.